Hi everybody, so for today's video I wanted to review a really weird looking heat tool, like hair styling tool that I saw on Amazon. So I have an Amazon problem as we all do. So I was on Amazon scrolling through and I randomly saw this little weird looking gadget and it's a three in one so it's a round brush as you can see this is the round brush slash flat iron which the flat iron part didn't really like do anything for me I mean that's obviously that's gonna work and it's also a curling wand and you're supposed to curl like with the round brush like if you're blowing out your hair and curling it with a round brush rather than with a curling wand so I thought it would be really fun to see if this actually works I've never tried it before it's brand new. So I thought it was fun and of course I bought it. I was like, I have to share, right? Don't you guys want to see if this works? Okay. So before I get into it, it came in this little box like this and I own um, another curling set from them and it came in the same box and I actually still have it. Let me show you. It literally just has a bunch of crap in it. So yeah, it came in that box and it also comes in a little pouch. All of their products, I believe, come in a little pouch like this because my other set also came in a pouch like this. So I got it from Amazon. I will have it linked below in case we like it towards the end and you guys want to check it out. I'll have it linked in the description box. And it goes up to 410 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to plug this in. So I'm just going to put it up to 410 degrees. So it was flashing earlier. When the flashing stops, that's when you know it's ready. So that took like two seconds to heat up. I'm going to try to flat iron my hair really quick. I mean, I know that's going to work, but why not do it, right? It's not that hot. Is it going to get hotter? I'm going to try to flat iron again. Alright, it's getting hotter. So even though it said it was ready, I would still wait, you know, to use it because it's still not that hot. It's getting hotter. So what they said you could do, which is really cool, is they say like when you're flat ironing your hair, you can take the hair, do this, and then you can kind of turn it around like this. And this is going to allow the brush to brush through your hair while you're flat ironing it, if that makes any sense. You know when you're flat ironing your hair and you use a brush to follow your straightener? So this actually will do both at the same time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to curl first and then I'm going to go over the curl and straighten it to see if it works. It has the little switch right here, so I'm going to close it up and I'm going to go ahead and try to curl this piece. How would I even do it? I'm like sitting here trying to figure out... Okay, hold on. Oh! Just kind of like taking it like I would a round brush and I'm just kind of rotating outwards. It kind of pulls and tugs on your hair in a weird way. I'm going to do this for a second. And then I'm going to slowly, okay, that didn't work as well. So let me try again. And then just let go. Oh my God. So it works. It works like at the bottom, you see? That looks pretty. I know that it would work like if I took my flat iron over a piece of curled hair it would flatten it right away so this is doing it but you would have to run it through quite a few times I don't really like the flat iron part of it I think that this would do a horrible job at flat ironing like coarse hair you would probably have to have really fine hair to be able to get the right, like the desired flat that you would want out of your hair if you were straight ironing it, you know? And I'm not a fan of the hair straightener on this. I'm more fascinated by the round brush curling situation that we have going on here. What if I go like this? I just want to see if I could curl the top part of my hair because I feel like only the bottom has been getting curled. Oh my goodness. It only curls the bottom. So let's see what happens if I go to do it like a curling wand. Hold on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Put my hair here. And then I'm just going to do that. Basically like turn my hair around. I'm not going to let go because I feel like I need to be able to undo my hair. Mm. 
Nope. I kind of like the bottom. So it does do it. I'm getting the hang of it, you guys. It works as long as you just honestly, like, you keep it away from the top of your hair because it's just going to get way too tangled and it's not going to be worth it. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I love when hair does this. I'm going to do my whole head because I really like it. So I want to show you guys the way that I've been able to get this look is to take the brush and put it down and then to take my hair, wrap the bottom of my hair basically around it and I start to rotate like that. So I'm rotating a few times and then I just rotate out of it. Ooh, and then this is what I have. And each piece comes out looking a little bit different, which I think is beautiful when your hair just looks naturally flowy. No piece is created equal. They all look different. So I don't mind that. Not too bad. I like it. I'm going to change into a white top. I should have thought about that in advance, but I'm going to do it right now. It looks good. It basically just gave my ends like a nice bounce, like if you would with a round brush, which is really nice. I'm liking it. So looking at this afterwards, I can see my hair got caught in the round brush, um, which is fine. That happens if you get like a brand new round brush and you style your hair, you're going to have a little bit of hair fallout. It's really not much, so it's nothing to be... Um, too worried about or anything like that so my final opinion is for me it wouldn't be like a three-in-one styler and I only like the round brush part of it and I only like it in a sense where I'm you know just doing my ends so I don't know if it would really be worth it because it's $40 so is that worth it to me no because Technically, you're paying the $40 to receive a flat iron, a curling wand, and a round brush. And I just feel like you're getting a heated round brush. But I do really like what it did to the ends. That's why I did it to all of my ends. Because I like it. It's just really flowy and beautiful. But that's the only part of it that I honestly really like. I don't like the flat iron part. I don't think that if you want like sleek, straight, shiny, beautiful hair, you would get that out of this flat iron. It's one of those like... You know, we've all had those like bad flat irons that don't release that like flat iron your hair, but don't flatter your hair. You know what I'm talking about? This is one of those flat irons. And as for curling the hair, like being a curling wand, I just couldn't do it. Like it just got tangled in my hair. It terrified me a little bit because I wasn't trying to have that incident where the tool comes off with my hair. You know that video that was trending where the girl, the poor girl, she literally goes like this and her hair is on the wand. I was just kind of having that moment where I was having a flashback of that video and hoping to God that does not happen to me. So that's my whole thing is like I don't think you should even try to do that because your hair is literally getting caught and you can't get it out. So you cannot use this as a full-on curling wand. That's my final verdict. It's an eh. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to thumbs up down below to let me know that you enjoyed it, as well as subscribe if you want to see my face again. You can just subscribe down below by clicking the little red button, and I will see you guys in my next one.